Hi, my name is Attorney Walter Ruth III. Uh, the question I want to answer today is, how do you handle the criticism question while you're in the hearing? And the question will usually come in the form of, you know, while you were working, uh, Mr. Klayman, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, did you ever have stressful situations where you weren't sure of how to handle criticism? Did you receive criticism? Was it from your boss? Was it from your coworkers? Um, when you came home, was it from your friends? Was it from your family members? Yada, yada, yada. The best way to approach this is to tie it directly to the mental disabling factors that which you have on file. Okay? So let's let's take a little wander through this, all right? Basically, you need to, you know, look and see, okay, first and foremost, do my disabilities link up with criticism? Okay, so let's talk about bipolar people. Bipolar people, they're super, super happy, and then all of a sudden they're angry, you know, kind of this super aggressive, quick start reflexes almost at times, you know, all these kind of things. Criticism. How did you take criticism? Well, when I would get criticized, I, criticized, I would get very angry very fast. I would uh, start screaming, yelling. I'd want to fight them, you know, verbally, physically, yada, yada. The best way to handle this is to tie it directly to the disabling factor that what you're claiming. So the way you do that is you think about the symptoms, the symptoms of what your disability has, and uh, you go ahead and then apply them to essentially how you know the criticism would make them worse. So let's say um, you know anxiety. Anxiety often you know in the way they look at it via statues that you know you have anxiety attacks. They build, they build, they build, you get a panic attack, you freak out, you know, dry mouth, dry eyes, quick stall reflexes, um, you don't know what to do, you're all over the place. So you're going to tie that in. How did something affect you when you were criticized? When your boss came in and was aggressive towards you, when your boss came in and wanted something for, you know, you wanted you to get something done very quickly, how does that actually affect um, those, you know, uh, symptoms? You know, how did you get there? One thing I usually refer to in trial, or not in trial, sorry, before the trial with the claimant, is I ask them, okay, is there a memory in your mind, the deepest, darkest part of your mind, that keeps coming back? I'm talking about flashbacks, I'm talking about nightmares, it keeps coming back. And do different memories tend to cause different symptoms? This is important because ultimately at the end of the day, you have to realize that you are a product of a systematic, uh, systemic at times, and self-manifesting, disabling factor of what can be the mind, the body, anything. And what happens is that something usually sets somebody off. And they keep going back to it, and it keeps coming up, and they keep getting set off because of it. The analysis about the criticism question is really to test your focus. How long can you focus? Can you finish tasks? Um, can you take direction from others? Can you get along with others? A lot of things here, okay? And the reality is, is that all of them must tie directly to your symptoms and some sort of thing that sets you off. And usually there's a couple of things that set you off, but you've really got to sit down before your trial and figure out what are those niche things that just get you going, okay? Once you find those out, you line up your symptoms, you understand the background as to, you know, what stories in your background, what memories, what nightmares, what flashbacks keep coming back, you can really start to develop why you are the person that you are. I've even recommended to people who want to DIY it, you know, do it yourself, that before the hearing they go visit a psychologist a couple of times to go ahead and sit down and have them... Uh, kind of look into their mind, see what's going on, and, and see what's really, really causing these factors. Now, obviously, for another reason, you should have medical information relevant to your claim if you're claiming a mental disabling factor. But the, the bottom line is, I also give my claimants, which I think is very important, specific questions to ask their psychiatrist, psychologist, because at the end of the day, psychologists, psychiatrists, they tend to, and, and behavioralists, they tend to not really answer, in my opinion, the tough question. Now, lawyers throughout law school are forced to constantly ask the right question. You know, we're abused in law school. We're pushed around. We're beat up. We're made fun of because 
The bottom line is we have to think at an extremely high level in order to do what's called an issue analysis. And this issue analysis is usually based upon IRAC, issue rule analysis conclusion. It's a format that we use. The first issue is whether, da 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 da. Well, what I usually do with my claimants is I give them a slew of questions to go ask their psychologist. And what they'll realize is that those questions are directly related to the very core of what makes them who they are. And also what makes them, unfortunately, the disabled person that which they are. What happens is that usually they will have memories that continue to pop up. And uh, they'll start to get more memories. Things will come to their mind that they haven't thought of for years. Um, the classic memories that do tend to pop up are rape memories or sexual abuse memories or um, honestly, like, you know, something having to do with the police as a child on a holiday. That seems to be the biggie. Um, but at the end of the day, what's important to remember is that you want to know as much as you can about your disabling factors and then apply them because when it comes to criticism, that's like a key focal point of, yeah, okay, if life is good, everybody's talking, you know, nicey-nice, everybody's sweet to you, that's great. But when it comes to criticism, which every job has because you're not perfect and you don't know how to do your job perfect every single time, when it comes to criticism, criticism, this, this is a very important aspect of the disability questions and process of hearing. If you have any question for your claim, give me a call. My name is Attorney Walter Rufnoth the Third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA. I'll catch you a little bit later and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye bye.